I leave them broken from the potent that I'm smoking Leave them down inside the ocean while they open and I load them on the track But I'm back with this, take a rap then I'm back to the diss Alright bitch, here's a kiss, kiss my nuts, kiss my dick, kiss my foot Wait, I don't care, I don't give a fuck about a slut I just need to take it up a notch, kill the spot Hold the Glock and put it to your brain and give you one shot Hey guys, Dominator666 here. Uh, today's video, I'm going to show you how to permanently unban your Sony console. Um, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need, uh, first of all, you have to do this from Kex firmware. So if you're Dex, you're going to need to go back to Kex, swap back over, and do it from either 3.55 Rogero, or you can do this from 4.50 Rogero. I'm going to provide you both downgraders, the 3.55 Rogero for Kex, as well as the V3.7 to get out of the 3.55. I will give you 450 Rogero as well as the Dex downgrader. Um, I'm going to provide both EID key dumpers, the one for 3.55 as well as the one for 4.50. Um, the free hex editor, I'll provide that, and IDPS set. Now that we know what we're going to need, I'll show you guys that I am Sony banned. As you can see, I am banned from Sony Network. You're also going to need a good uh, console ID as well. So if you don't got one, go buy one. Um, I do sell 3001 model um, console IDs for 40 bucks. They are um, not sold to anyone else and are from broken units that aren't able to get on. Like I couldn't fix them, so they're not in circulation anymore. Now, for this video purpose, I'm going to show you with a changed, uh, a bad changed um, console ID. So on this, you're going to see me change it to another bad uh, Sony band console ID, because obviously I'm not going to show my good console ID. I already have my good IDPS bin file right here. And after, I will show you that I can go online with this good IDPS. Now, uh, let's start. First, you're going to go to, you're going to install the hex editor Neo as well as the PKG files that I gave you. You are going to go to IDPS set. Open it up. Uh, first thing you're going to notice is that your console ID that is banned is going to show up here on your screen right right here. Now notice it's 305E. Okay. Now you're going to put your, I got to take off mine first. Hold on. You're going to go in your thumb drive. I gotta delete this. So I can just do this with you guys in the IDPS bin. Delete. Yes. Okay. Now take your thumb drive, put it in the right USB port of the PlayStation 3. Okay. Now you are going to save IDPS to file. Okay, so click, um, go to save IDPS, push right on the D-pad, and then X on to file. It's going to do real quick. It'll save the IDPS on there. Now you can back out of here exit and we're gonna dump the EID root key since I'm already on 450 I've got the 4 4.50 EID root key dumper already set up and ready to go <coughs> and go in here go to EID root key okay let that run your screen is gonna go black and your PS3 will beep three times and then go back into the XMB screen Okay, so you beep three times. Now your EID root key and your saved IDPS will be here on the thumb drive. We're going to take both of those. Sorry, I'm a little slow here. That's not what's right. 
your EID root key will not be on here. You got to go into Multiman to get it. So let's take the IDPS bin that we just saved to file, drag it to the desktop. Okay. Now connect to multi, um, go to Multiman, and then connect Firezilla. Let's go to Multiman. Okay. Now, okay. Now you're gonna connect to Multiman. Abort previous connection. Yes. Okay. Now we're gonna go to HDD zero games. Or sorry, not games. Game. And then scroll down to FLTZ zero 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 one zero. Go in there and go in the USDIR folder, and here's your EID root key. Drag that to the desktop. I'm going to delete it afterwards. Okay, now that it's dragged to the desktop, you can close out Firezilla and exit Multiman. <coughs> okay, now you have already installed Hex Editor Neo, I'm assuming. Double click on the IDPS bin, okay? This IDPS bin is going to show your console ID. Give it a second to run and right here. See it? Now, as you notice, my ID was 305E. You can see 305E. Go to the last number right here and then backspace one. Then go forward. See how I did that? And then just backspace all the way up until. Now, if your new ID is uh, 0084, you don't have to delete that. But if it's 8.5, just delete from here. Put 8.5 and then the rest of your console ID. After you're done with your console ID, you go to File and click Save. Now I'm going to show you with a bad IDPS because I don't want to show my good one on here. Okay, so we're going to open this up and you'll notice now my new IDPS has 4C0B in it. Okay, you see that? Okay, so this is the one that we're going to use. Close that out. Connect this to the PS3. No, not to the PS3. Sorry. Okay. Open up our thumb drive. You're going to drag your edited IDPS bin onto the root of the thumb drive. Copy and replace. Now go to drag your EID root key over here as well because you have to have the EID root key on there in order to flash this to the console for good. Okay, so now that those are there, you're going to put your thumb drive back into the PS3 and go back into PSID set. Okay. Now, as soon as this is done, I'm going to put my good IDP on there and show you that I can sign in and that everything's all set. Now, as you can see, my console ID is still 305E. Now, we are going to go and load IDPS from file and it's going to change it. Okay, once you hit load IDPS from file, it changes, so now it's 4C0B. That is also a Sony Band console ID. So you can take it if you want. Now you're going to go to save IDPS after it's changed. Go to save IDPS and then go all the way down to EID0 and EID5. Click X on that. Now it's going to say wait up here at the top for a brief second. Once it says done, you are now finished. You can restart the unit. Okay, we're going to restart the PlayStation. Now notice 400B is the last four. Don't let them know. Okay. Turn the PlayStation back on. I am going to start swapping my good IDPS now so that I'm already set up. Now I don't have to take the EID root key off of there. I can leave that on there. I just go to the good IDPS and drag that over here. Yes, I want to copy and replace it. And then eject that. I'm going to put it back in my PlayStation. So this way I can show you guys. Now, as you, since I'm right here, I'm going to show you. <coughs> I am still... 
Sony band because I'm using that bad um, console ID that I was telling you about. And we're going to go back into IDPS set. IDP set. Okay. Now you're going to notice it is going to have that new edited console ID period. It's always going to be this now. You see, it's the same. Now, for me to show you, I'm going to put this small right here. So you can see I'm still rolling. I am going to load my IDPS from file. I'm going to change it to my good one. Save to EID 0 and EID 5. Okay. And then I'm going to exit okay so now I have now changed my console ID to my good one now you guys will just you won't have to do that because you know I'm you're doing this again okay so now I've changed my console ID to the good one and it is flashed to the unit so now I'm going to show you I can sign in And here we go, back online. Now, if you keep those the IDPS bin and the root key, EID root key, if you ever get Sony banned again, all you ever have to do is just go back into that edited one that you just had, double click on it, and put your new IDPS in there that you are going to change it to again, and write it to flash again, and you're good to go. I hope this video helped. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, also, if you could, share this video. I'd really like to keep growing here. Um, help as many people as I can and continue to make videos. Right, have a good one. Till the next video.